Good morning everyone, Bruce here. We're gonna go over community property, also known as marital property. So, without further ado, we'll read the definition here. On January 1st, 1986, Wisconsin Marital Property Act went into effect, um, which means that each spouse owns an undivided one-half interest in the property of the other spouse acquired after their determination date, after the marriage. Um, regardless of which spouse actually acquired the property. Um, the Marital Property Act provides for classification of property acquired after a married couple's determination date. Property is classified as marital, individual, mixed, or survivorship. The Act also addresses property acquired before the couple's determination date. Um, and it's a good thing. It's just one of these things that really kind of clarifies if someone goes into a, a marriage and for whatever reason they, they want to keep property separate, um, stuff that they brought into the marriage, there are measures and means and vehicles available to do that. We always suggest seeing an attorney um, because really they're the only ones that are going to be able to answer these questions. Um, the specific questions for talking about division of property and marriage. Um, so, marital property is defined as including but not limited to all property and salaries of married persons. Each spouse has an undivided one-half interest in each item of the marital property without regard to actual monetary value of a spouse's contribution to the asset. So it's back to when you're married, you and your husband or wife um, uh, or significant other uh, are equal owners in everything, regardless of whether you bought it with your paycheck or, or he or she bought it with their paycheck. So, um, individual property. Individual property, one spouse received as a gift or inheritance property acquired prior to marriage. Income from individual property designated as individual property. Appreciation of value from individual property and property declared by decree or marital property agreement as the individual property of the spouse. Once again, um, sounds a little bit on the confusing side, but it, it's just a way of defining the individual property. Um, if your individual property happens to be land and it's rental property, that's where they talk about you know income made from that or appreciated value. So, and at the very end, they dec uh, say, and property declared by decree of marital property agreement. So basically it's a prenup. So once again, if someone's gonna go into a marriage and they really wanna keep stuff separate, they can go to an attorney, have a prenup done. Um, mixed property. Mixed property is a combination of both individual and marital property. It always is treated as marital property. Spouses who want to keep individual property must keep it separate from marital property. Mixing individual property with marital property will change the individual property to marital property. Um, so once again, sounds a little bit like a tongue twister, but let's just use an example of say if um, Belinda and I were, we are getting married and Belinda came into our relationship with a, um, a rental property and, uh, and she wants to keep that rental property in just her name. She doesn't think that there's any reason that I need to have any ownership in that rental property. Um, but I'm over there working on that property, helping make improvements, putting windows in or whatever, anything that, that helps maintain or improve the property. Um, for Belinda to keep that as a, um, an individual property, she literally would then have to show the court that any of the work that I did over at that property, I was compensated for. So I got paid for materials and for my time. If she has receipts for all of those and can prove over the course of the time that we were together, well, then she's got a pretty good chance at, at, uh, at maintaining the status of that property as individual property. Um, once again, can't stress enough, when you're splitting hairs like this and talking about gray areas like this, you do need the advice of an attorney, um, certainly not a real estate agent, but we just kind of want to help you understand the concepts a little bit more. So, um, moving on, we have uh, our predetermination date property. Applies to property acquired by marriage couples before their determination date for their marriage. This property is reclassified as marital property in the event of death of one of the spouses or divorce. Now, that's a good thing because um, 
it's just saying that so say Belinda and I did have that property together and she she was going to keep that separate I passed away um, well now she doesn't have to go through probate because of the fact that that automatically became marital property um, it, it's just one of those it's it's obviously a plus so you can maintain oh the camera's turning on me again didn't realize that okay um, and survivorship marital property, the last part, um, allows a property to pass to the surviving spouse without going through a probate process. A married couple's homestead is automatically held as survivorship marital property unless they title it differently in the deed or have a marital property agreement stating otherwise. So, and that comes down to the marital property agreement. You're, you're basically, that's when you talk about having a prenup that, uh, that really defines each person's property and whose is who and, and how it might get divided you know in the case of a separation someday down the road so anyway um belinda and i'd be happy to answer any more questions you have um there's there's once again as usual and an awful lot more to you know what we were discussing here than than the parts that i had read to you but it's really the meat and potatoes of it um, you know, largely in the vast majority of the time when you're married and you have property, you each have equal shares of it, unless you, you took the time to, to have a prenup or if you're keeping track of all the work that's done on different properties and, and there's it, just a lot of gray area there. So certainly give us a call if you have any questions. Um, and if anyone's going through that difficult process of separation I mean Belle and I have been through it a lot of people have been through it um, give us a call you know don't give up the equity that you have in your home and uh, and walk away from that when at least there may be a, a remedy to, to try to make some lemonade from lemons